Hello, I'm Karen. Welcome to my home. What if I told you that you may be the best teacher for your children? Would you believe me? This has been a remarkably difficult year. Overnight, many of you were told that you were going to be educating your children at home. You overnight had to figure out their curriculum. You had to figure out what the teacher expectations were, and that's not even counting scheduling, and if you had another job, there were so many things to figure out that I could understand why it would be particularly hard to picture yourself in that role. Added to that, many of us have an idea in our head of what a teacher is. We tend to think of it as this, when homeschooling is more like this and this. Today, I'm gonna to share with you five reasons why you may very well be the best teacher for your kids. The first one, you know your child or children better than anyone. When I was in college, I took an educational psychology course. I have my bachelor's of religious education and they said there that the first rule of teaching well is to know your student and who knows your child better than you. You know what discourages them and what motivates them. You know their strengths and their weaknesses. You know their struggles and you know their joys. You've walked so many paths and miles with these kids and you know them better than anyone. This puts you at an incredible advantage. The second reason is that you care the most about their success or their failure. You want to see them succeed probably more than they even want to see them succeed. Because kids, even teenagers, usually don't completely understand how much the work they do today is going to impact them in the future, but you know. That desire to see your child succeed will be the driving force to you doing whatever it takes to make sure that your child receives the best education they can so that they can reach their highest potential. The third reason that you are the best teacher for your kids is that you have already taught them so many things. Think about it. You taught them how to walk and how to talk. You taught them how to brush their teeth and to take care of their bodies. You might have taught them how to cook, how to sew, how to ride a bike. And who has been teaching them and helping them with their homework all these years? You actually have an incredible amount of experience already teaching these kids. The fourth reason that you are gonna be a great teacher for your kids is that you can provide consistency. Think about it. Normally, they're changing teachers every year. And so a new teacher has to get to know them every year. They're constantly having to adjust to different teaching styles, but you're gonna be able to provide consistency. Even if you don't teach all of the subjects and you bring in extra help or you have them taking classes, you're still gonna be the facilitator over all of that and you're gonna know what's happening from day to day. That provides an incredible amount of consistency and consistency is king. The fifth reason that you're a great teacher for your kids is that you'll never have to figure out what the teacher wanted again because you will be the teacher. So all of those assignments that you can think of where you were trying to figure out what that essay was supposed to be about, when it's due, you're going to know those things because you're the one assigning the work. That actually builds a lot of confidence, not only in your student, but especially in you, because you're going to realize that a lot of the issues you were having was that you were trying to communicate through your child to the teacher, and the teacher was communicating through the child to you, and now you can cut out that middleman, and you can teach your kids. And remember, you are gonna be using a curriculum and you're gonna have the teacher's manual. You have all the answers right there in your book. You're not expected to know all of those things up front. Is there a learning curve to homeschooling? Yeah, you bet there is, but you can overcome that learning curve. And I have a couple of little pieces of advice to give you today, a couple of actionable things that you can be doing now. The first one is to go to hslda.org. This organization gathers together all of the laws from different states so that you know that you're homeschooling legally in your own state because the laws are different from state to state on what you have to do to declare them a homeschooler and what you have to do at the end of the year to have them assessed. So if you go to hslda.org, you'll be able to find your state and you'll be able to find out what the laws are in your state. 
Also, they might even have links to homeschool groups in your state, but if they don't, you could Google homeschool laws in, I would say Maine for me, and it's probably gonna give you websites where you can go. If that doesn't work, what I would do is I would contact my local library. They're usually very familiar with the homeschoolers in the area because we take out a lot of books. And so they'll be able to help you there to get connected with other homeschool families in your area so that you'll have someone to go to with your questions. So what I'm asking you to do today is, number one, you're gonna to go to hslda.org and you're gonna see what the laws are in your state. And number two, you're gonna begin working on finding other homeschoolers in your area that you can use as a resource. And if you have any questions at all about homeschooling, I want you to feel free to leave your questions in my comment section below. I would love to make future videos just for you to answer your questions. So I hope this has been a help and encouragement to you. I know many of you are thinking about homeschooling who have never thought about homeschooling before because either your school might not be open or the atmosphere might not be the same as it was last year. There may be a lot of different requirements in place that just aren't going to work for your child. And I want you to know that God cares about your struggle. I want you to know that you can pray to him even if you've never prayed before and ask for his help because God loves you. And actually, I love you too. And I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.